and it's going to ask for the password. Uh, and it's going to bring up this uh, file. This is the um, um, X11, uh, the, uh, the video file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a Control W. And that's going to ask me what I want to find. And what I want to find is default depth. All one word. Uh, and uh, the search term down here at the bottom is default depth. Uh, I'll press Enter. And now you can see right here that it's found that, and the number after default depth is 24. We need to set that to 16. Uh, and what we're doing is Linux distributions usually uh, uh, come with a default color depth of um, 24 bits, uh, and uh, Virtual PC only supports 16-bit um, color depth. So I'm going to arrow over until I'm just on the other side of it, backspace over it, type in 16. Uh, and now uh, I'm done, so I'm going to um, type in Control O. Control O writes the file, uh, and as you can see now, it's asking what file to write, so I'll just press Enter. That's going to write out that file. And now Control X to exit. And one other file that we're going to adjust, uh, and that's to make that little change we made to that boot menu permanent. Uh, so to do that, let me type in the command, and then I'll read it out to you. Uh, that was sudo space nano space forward slash boot forward slash grub forward slash menu menu dot lst. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is, is go down pretty much all the way to the bottom of the file. So I'm going to hit page down here until I get to the end of the file uh, and go back up um, just a few lines, end of the file. Uh, and what you're looking is um, this end of default options. There's a bunch of stuff up at the top of the file you can read if you want to learn more. But what we're looking is the is the actual first boot line here. Uh, and you can see that um, I'm at the kernel line right here. And that was the line we edited before. Um, make sure that you're editing this first one. The second one, uh, which you may recall for the boot menu, is recovery mode. And then there's a memory test. Uh, so we're going to go to the end of this first one here. Uh, hit the space bar and repeat that command, VGA equals 0x314. And now again, I'm going to type in control O to save the file, write it out, and hit enter for the file name, uh, which is displaying down at the bottom. That's the one we're editing here. Uh, and then control X to exit. Uh, and now what we need to do is reboot the computer. Now when we reboot the computer, the um, uh, uh, video mode should come up uh, normally without any distortion. So we're going to hit sudo, S-U-D-O, space, reboot. And we're going to hit enter. Uh, you may have to re-enter your password. Uh, again, there the sudo command is a super user command, and it gives you super user privileges for a few minutes. But if you wait too long or take too long, you might have to re-enter your password. Uh, you can see that uh, Ubuntu is now shutting down. Uh, it's going to go through a reboot. There's the grub menu. We don't need to edit it this time, assuming we made our changes correctly. When you see the screen enlarged like that, that means that that video command that we entered, that VGA equals 0x314, uh, actually took effect. And shortly here, you'll see the um, uh, Ubuntu begin to come up. And this time, uh, it should come up normally. So I will pause the recording here. It takes a few minutes to load. And I'll be back to show you what the screen looks like. And now we're back. And the screen looks uh, fairly normal. Uh, I'm going to slide this up just a bit. Just drag and drop this screen so we can see a little bit more of it. Uh, and I want to point out a couple of things that you need to be aware of. First of all, there's a mouse inside the screen. And then there's your regular mouse. And at this point, I haven't clicked. As soon as I click, it actually captures the mouse inside this window. And then you can't get out of it. So the way you get out of it is to hold down the right Alt key. And that returns your uh, um, uh, standard host system mouse. Uh, so let's go ahead and log in then. And I clicked in here. And um, so I've captured the mouse. We'll give it a minute. You can see it come up. And here we go. Uh, I'm going to click inside the, the window again to capture the mouse. 
A couple of things you may want to know about. Um, first of all, you will see almost immediately that there are updates available. These are safety and security updates. You can click on this uh, icon here to get a window to load any uh, security and safety updates that have been released since the uh, ISO was first, uh, uh, first produced. Uh, the other thing that you may notice is that you may not be happy in a virtual PC with the speed of the mouse and the um, uh, uh, keyboard rate. So what I'm going to suggest you do is go into System, uh, go into Preferences here. Uh, you can go down to Mouse. Uh, and you can select the motion tab and you can slow the mouse down uh, in virtual PC. That's going to make it a little bit more manageable. The other thing is that the key re repeat rate may not be to your satisfaction. I've, I've found that the keys um, are often um, uh, repeat when you don't want them to. And again, system preferences uh, and you want to go to keyboard. And again, uh, repeat keys, you can uh, lengthen the time it takes that you hold down a key before it starts to repeat, and that should solve the problem. The last thing I want to point out is that you can go into full screen mode back and forth. Uh, the hotkeys for that are right, alt, and enter. So if I hold down the right, alt key and press enter, I'll go into full screen mode. Uh, to get back to my PC, I can do right, alt, and then enter again. Uh, and that will get back to um, uh, the uh, uh, window. Uh, and again, remember that uh, the uh, Alt key um, does release the mouse. To shut down the system, uh, select Quit, uh, and select Shut Down. And uh, I will give that a, a minute or two to shut down and come back and show you the last step here. And we're back. Uh, this shuts it down. You can now go into a Virtual PC and um, simply shut down. That concludes our tutorial installing um, the Ubuntu desktop version in uh, Virtual PC. I uh, hope this works for you, and good luck. Thanks.